Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger of Comedia back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, we're going to be showcasing this free-to-play Int LR Goku at rainbow status. And for anybody that doesn't know, to get this guy, you will have to clear the category Super Battle Road stages. And getting that first copy alone, it's going to be hard enough because they're very difficult stages, right? But to get all five copies you need to rainbow the man is a very painful process. It's taken me an extremely long time to get it done and I guess today, right here, right now, we're gonna find out whether or not all my time and effort spent grinding for him was actually worth it. But with all that said, let's jump into it. This is the Int LR Goku and this is the team we're gonna bring him on. Now, at the time of this filming, at least on Global, his best category is Pure Saiyans led by a dual Vegeta lead. Of course, once we get the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku for the 4 year anniversary, it's going to become Goku's lineage. But this is his best category at the moment. And I know the team is a little bit weird, there's a lot of supports, but because we're trying to showcase the Goku and see his best performance, I think it makes a lot of sense. So, let's do this guys! Now. The event we're running for the showcase is going to be the Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku Dokkan event. And there are a couple reasons why I decided to go with this event. Now number one, the main reason is because I didn't want to do boss rush anymore. A lot of people have complained about this in the past and I understand the complaints. I understand people's feelings. Uh, basically boss rush is just overdone, right? First of all, it's like just really boring to watch now because everybody does boss rush for showcases and it's not exciting. But number two, it doesn't make a lot of sense from a performance perspective because who cares like how well a unit can perform against like a three year old event, right? It's not representative of like what they can do today. So anyways, we're gonna do full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku and we actually got the perfect rotation right off the bat. Very rare for me in showcases, but this is really good. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. We got three orbs, we got five here. So if I actually give him a fruit of the tree of might, and we can get his 18 key off right off the bat. Okay, this is perfect. All right, so we're gonna see some good damage here. Now keep in mind, he is a free to play unit. He is, um, he's free to play, that's it. Just keep that in mind, keep that in mind. Okay, <laughs> let's jump in, let's see what he does. Okay, 41 damage tanking and 1.88 mil attack stat. Can we get a crit? Come on, Goku, do it. Oh, no crit, but that's okay, he's got a dodge. Okay, sick. That was not a bad showing. Not bad for the first attack. All right, let me give you guys an overview of what this guy actually does so you guys can understand like what's going on here a little bit better. His leader skill is all types, key plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. So he's an extremely versatile leader. Very, very good leader. And uh, you can basically use him to build any team you want, right? Extreme types, super types, uh, AGL, tech, STR, physical, whatever you want, you can build a team with him because he's an all types leader and also a really good one 100% attack defense and HP so there you go actually same leader skill by the way just to keep in mind same leader skill as um, the 1000 day spirit bomb Goku so if you guys are not even close to a thousand days yet like me I mean I'm like somewhat close but not like super close um, this is definitely a easier unit to get <laughs> because you don't have to be at a thousand login days like I'm currently at 800 it's still pretty far for me, even though I really want that Goku. If you want a good all-type leader skill, then this is a better option in my opinion. So yeah, great leader skill for a free unit right there. Now his super attack is colossal damage with a rare chance to stun the enemy. And of course that goes up to mega colossal at the 18 key level. And uh, his passive, which is where he really shines. And keep in mind that he's primarily a support unit. That's his main role on teams. He gives super class allies key plus two. Um, attack and defense plus 30% and also a medium chance to evade all enemy attacks which is about a 30% chance. I'm not 100% sure what the rate is but I think it's around 30% and he also gives an additional attack and defense plus 20% to super class allies when HP is below 50%. Alright so about a million there uh, and there's the dodge right there as well. Two dodges in a row. Okay, not bad, not bad. Yeah, so the dodge gets goes off pretty often, as you guys can see. Pretty decent dodge chance. And uh, basically, when you're below 50% HP, this guy's total support is gonna be key plus two, and attack and defense plus 50%, which is awesome. Really, really good support right there. And uh, his links are all in the family, Z Fighters, Saiyan Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, the Saiyan Lineage, Experienced Fighters, 
uh, courage and legendary power. Now, unfortunately, sadly, his links are not the best. <laughs> You're not gonna find a lot of units out there, at least a lot of good units out there, that activate more than like one, maybe two of his links. The main reason I brought the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan on this team actually is because they do have Z Fighters, which is a 15% attack boost. And uh, of course, Gohan also gives a 30% attack on his passive too, so that's really good. But there's not a lot of good units out there that actually link with him, so that is definitely a detriment to him. Um, but aside from that, he is just a very solid overall unit, man. Just like really, really good for support. Of course, you're not going to be running this team with like so many supports most of the time. But uh, yeah, I, I really like him. I think he's a great unit already. And as you can see, he does pretty solid damage, especially for a support free-to-play unit, even though he's an LR, so I guess, you know, you do expect some damage out of him, but he, he's quite impressive. He's actually surprisingly impressive for damage output. Uh, this is kind of a weird rotation. Now, why does Turles insist on transforming in my showcase? I hate that. I hate it when Turles transforms. It's so annoying. Okay, what do we do here? Um, I mean, there's not much we can do, I guess. All right, let's just go with this. And hopefully we don't die. Uh, the one concern I had going into this was that because we're doing a showcase, before, because we have so many support units on the team, uh, I was kind of scared that we might die to an event like this because it is one of the harder hitting events in the game, right? Oh crap. <sighs> should not put Gohan there. I should not have put Gohan there. Although, if we get below 50% HP, we can actually see his full support passive, which could be kind of good. Alright. You know what? I'm going to risk it. Um, I'm not gonna heal this turn, and hopefully we can still survive. I mean, these guys are pretty tanky, so we can probably survive. I want to be below 50% HP for the next turn, so that we can actually see his, like, full passive go off. Alright, uh, these orbs are awful. <laughs> these orbs absolutely suck. Oh, man. Alright, um, hmm, you know what? I would, ah, fine, let's give him these physical orbs. Okay. And, oh, last, last but not least, his categories are pure Saiyan in Goku's family. But going back to what I was saying before, um, I do think he's a very, very solid, very good free-to-play unit. And luckily, you know, surprisingly, I mean, I guess not surprisingly, but I guess it's just very fortunate that he's way, way better, way, way better than the uh, type-only Super Battle Road with the physical LR Gohan. Wait, what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that he's way better than the LR Gohan, the LR Kid Gohan from the types only Super Battle Road, man. Because that kid, I'm sorry, but he's trash. <laughs> like, he is absolutely awful. Very, very underwhelming. And I'll get back to that in a second, but let's actually focus on this rotation here because we have an opportunity to see a crazy amount of damage here. Um, I believe if we actually do this, okay, for sure, definitely going to pop the Icarus here. Because these guys cannot tank. And even with the Icarus, I'm still kind of scared. But we want to keep that, you know, below 50% HP. So we'll go with this. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter who we attack with the Gohan. He does no damage. Oh, perfect. Okay, we got the in orbs. And actually, let's pop the fruit one more time. For the extra little E boost there. And this is an amazing rotation, guys. Because we got... The Gohan linked, we got the Bula, who by the way is just amazing as a support too. If you guys haven't run her yet, you guys are missing out. Definitely check her out. Okay, two point about 2.2 mil. Alright. And yo, give me a, give me the crit. No crit, but over 2 million damage. No crit, but over 2 million damage. Yo, for a guy who's primarily supposed to be a support, he hits damn hard, man. He hits surprisingly hard. Yo, we might actually get a Super Saiyan Blue transformation this, um, in this in this showcase. Damn. All right, that that would be awesome. Okay. So yeah, luckily he's a lot better than the Kid Gohan because I'm, I'm sorry, he's just bad. Like the Kid Gohan is just bad. He's one of the worst LRs in the game. Um, I think like on par, if not worse, than LR Piccolo. But that's just my opinion. You guys can think what you want. That's just how I feel. But I'm so glad they made him just like significantly better than that LR Gohan. And, uh, you know what? I've been thinking about this, actually. There's just, like, been this... There, there's just, like, two ages of free-to-play units in my mind, like, for this game, for Dokkan, right? Like, there's the old age of just, like, trash free-to-play units that basically are 
they're usable, but like not very usable for later stages for like, you know, like newer events and like harder events, stuff like that. But then something happened and there was like a snap, right? Like, like Bandai just snapped and decided we're going to start putting out really, really good free to play units like LR Vegito Blue, LR Metal Cooler, um, the Coat Vegeta, Coat Goku, and so on and so forth. Just like, you know, really, really solid units. Um, that are free, right? So this Goku, I feel like it's definitely part of that new golden age of free-to-play units that we, we're getting recently. And uh, I could not be more thankful, man. Even though he's not easy to rainbow, he's not easy to get, especially for newer players, since you do have to clear categories for battle road. Okay, let's see what we do here, or what we, what we tank here for. 29k, not bad. 29k is not bad. Um, obviously, we have the Icarus on, so if we didn't have the Icarus, it might have been like 40 to 50k, but that's still not awful, actually. So two dodges in a row. Yeah, this guy dodges pretty often, man. I, I, I do like that. I do like that. All right. So like I said, I think he is part of this like new golden age of free to play units. And uh, I'm very thankful, man. This guy hits surprisingly hard. Like he's surprisingly impressive with the damage output. And yeah, what can I say? I, I'm not regretting it. I'm really not regretting it. Now I do need to heal up here because... We might die. Oh, we got the blue. Yo, we got the blue transformation. Okay, there's a little bonus for you guys. We're not trying to get this off, but it happened. And I'll take it. I'll absolutely take that. Uh, does Vegeta actually link better with Bula? Oh, no. No, they don't. Because like, they had Royal Lineage, right? So I was like, maybe they... But no, it's not. It's not happening. Okay, let's heal up here. Senzu Bean. And we might kill Goku right here, right now. Like, Goku might be dead. Um... I hope not because I do want to get one more attack off with the Goku, if with the uh, LR Goku if possible. But I mean, if not, what can you do, right? Three million attacks. That final blow. And okay, not bad. One mil. All right. Um, of course, this Goku does have pretty high damage reduction, so I'm not surprised it didn't kill him. And we're taking the super for 50k. Wow. Okay. That's why I was scared, man. I was like, yo, we have so many supports on this team. If we get a bad rotation with like a ton of attacks on a support, we might just straight up die. Oh my god, Goku, why? <laughs> why did you have to kill yourself? It was the full power super save for Goku, right? Damn, all right. Well, you know what? It's okay, guys. You guys saw um, pretty much the extent of like what this int LR Goku can do. And I gotta say, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Surprisingly, surprisingly, um, you know, strong unit as far as damage output goes, but he is still primarily a support unit. Now, I'll show you guys one thing real quick, and that is the uh, potential investment I gave him. So I gave him 12 additional and 9 critical. He already has 5 built-in dodge, and he does have the dodge on his passive, which is why I didn't give him more dodge. Some people on my stream the other day when I was farming this guy was like, you know what, you should give him all dodge. Just give him like 20 dodge. I'm like, that makes no sense. I'm not doing that because he already has the 30% built-in dodge and he already has the 5 uh, dodge as part of his hidden potential system anyways. So to me, it makes no sense, especially because you guys see his damage output, right? He can do over a million damage pretty consistently. And for support that can do that, I think giving him a balance of additional and critical makes a lot more sense. I give him more additional because he does uh, have a chance to, um, what do you call it? Stun. He has a chance to stun on his super. And uh, of course, I gave him critical because he does do good damage. So that's what I did. It's up to you guys, but I would recommend doing crit and dodge a balance of the two as opposed to, sorry, not crit and dodge, crit, crit and additional a balance of those two as opposed to dodge because he already has the dodge himself. So uh, there's that, but aside from that, I mean, that's gonna do it for the showcase, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I gotta say my final verdict is very impressive. Very, very impressive. Definitely gonna run him on all my Pure Saiyans teams, and uh, I really can't wait for LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku to come to Global. I mean, that's assuming I pull him, of course. I'm talking like I'm gonna pull him. It's probably not gonna happen, but if I do pull him, this guy's gonna be even more of a monster, and uh, very impressive. Very, very impressed. I give him a 8.5 out of 10. I don't even know what that means exactly, but that's his score. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this guy, whether or not you were impressed or underwhelmed. And uh, that's that's all I got to say. As always, if you guys like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's the first time watching me, first time to the channel. If you guys like what you see, 
then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all I got to say, guys. Hope you have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. Yeah.